Let's take a look at how to multiply two numbers up to 100 and up to 1,000. They asked us to multiply 29 times 21. So I'm gonna write it this way, 29 times 21. So when you're multiplying with numbers that are multiple digits each, what you wanna do is take the number that you wrote on the bottom and go one place at a time. First, I'm gonna take that one that's in the ones place and I'm gonna multiply it by both the nine and the two. Okay, so one times nine, that gives me nine. One times two, that gives me two. Now I'm ready to work with the two. But notice the two is in the tens place, right? It's 20, not just two. So what I'm gonna do is put a zero in the ones place, and then I can multiply the two by both numbers. Okay, so two times nine is 18. So I'm gonna write my eight, carry the one. Two times two is four, plus that extra one is five. So notice the way that this works, this is one times 29, right, gave us 29, and 20 times 29 gave us 580, well, 1 and 20 together make up 21. So what we need to do is add these two numbers together to get our whole answer for 21 times 29. So we're just going to add them and make sure you're lining up the numbers in the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. So in our ones place or ones column, 9 plus 0 equals 9. In the tens column, 2 plus 8 equals 10, so I'm going to write my 0, carry the 1, and 5 plus 1 equals 6. So that gives me 609. Twenty-three times sixty-six. Okay, so I'm gonna write my numbers this way, twenty-three times sixty-six, just to make it easy for me to line up our numbers like we did last time. And the reason I like to write it this way is it allows me to see what's happening in the ones place, the tens place, and so on. So just like we did before, I'm gonna start with the number in the ones place, six, and I'm gonna take that six and I'm gonna multiply it by both of the digits of my first number. So six times three, well that gives me 18. So I'm gonna write eight and carry my one. Six times two gives me 12, plus that one I brought over makes 13. Okay, and let's cross this off since we already used that one. Now I'm gonna multiply this first digit of six by both numbers. But notice this is 60, right? The six is in the tens place. So I'm gonna put a zero here in the ones place and then multiply this by both numbers. So six times three is 18. So I'm gonna write my eight, carry my one. Six times two is 12, plus the extra one is 13. All right, now just like before, since we multiplied one digit at a time, this first number, 138, is six times 23. And the second number, 1,380, was 6D, right? We put a zero in that ones place, 60 times 23. So I need to add those two things together to figure out what 66 times 23 is. And again, just make sure you're lining up the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, and so on. So in my ones place, eight plus zero, that's gonna give me eight. In my tens place, three plus eight, gives me 11, so I'm gonna write my one and carry the one. Three plus one is four, plus the extra one is five. And then I also have that one in the thousands place. So this is 1,000, that's supposed to be a comma, 1,518. Okay, 41 times 53. Okay, since they're both two digit numbers, I'm gonna line it up this way. 41 times 53. And first I'm gonna take that three that's in the ones place and multiply by both numbers. So three times one is three. Three times four 
is 12. So I get 123. Okay, I already took care of the three that was in the ones place. Now I'm gonna look at the five that's in the tens place. And remember, I have to put a zero here because it's in the tens place. So I'm thinking of it as like a 50. So five times one is five. Five times four is 20. And because we multiplied one digit at a time, this 123 is three times 41. This 2050 is 50 times 41. So I've got to add them together to get 53 times 41. So we're just gonna add up the numbers in each place value or in each column. So in the ones place, three plus zero gives me three. In the tens place, two plus five gives me seven. In the hundreds place, one plus zero is one. And in the thousands place, I just have that two. So altogether, 2,173.